Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvette. Life is good with DIY. This is the name of this channel. I hope you all having a wonderful day. Um, I love to do all kind of DIYs, guys. So if you're looking for wedding DIYs, furniture DIYs, jewelry, I do all kind of DIYs, guys. You can check out my other videos that I have on this channel. Um, today I have a Dollar Tree DIY, guys, um, slash thrift store. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do, and it's very easy DIY. You can use it as a wedding. Um, you can use it at a wedding, a baptism, a, a birthday party, uh, um, a baby shower, anywhere you want um, to use this. It's a very nice decor. It's very easy. You can use it in your home as a home decor too. That's what I'm going to display at my home, but you can use this as a wedding um, centerpiece as well. Alright guys, if you are not subscribed to this channel guys, go ahead and subscribe guys. Hit that bell button guys so every time I open a video you'll be notified. And if you are new to this channel, welcome to the family guys. And I think that is it guys. I hope you guys all are having a wonderful day. Stay positive guys. I know life is very hard out there. Um, tell me about it. I've been having a couple of rough, rough, rough months guys. But I am... I am giving it all. I'm trying to keep positive, guys. I sometimes I, I know it's hard. I feel like I want to rip my hair off because you know life is hard. I know it is because I know I'm not the only one that's going through stuff. Because I know there's people going through stuff and everything, guys. But let's stay positive and and give ourselves good vibes. And I want to give good good vibes to you guys and stay blessed. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, guys. Well, I will see you guys all next time in my next video. Bye, guys. Hi guys, the items you're going to need are these glasses. I found these at the thrift store like uh, maybe like a couple of months ago and I really like them. They're like martini glasses. I thought I could do something with these. Um, so I really liked it that it has a little like the little um, square right here. Um, this is a glass square. I thought it was so cute. So I picked up two of these because there was two of these. I had two of these so I picked up on both of them. So you're going to need this. You're going to need a foam ball. Foam ball. And you're going to need some... Um, Decorated trim and a silver color. That's what I'm gonna be using and I picked up this one at Hobby Lobby And it was uh, for $2.99, but you know me guys. I got it for 50% off. So, you know, and you're gonna need some E6000 And you're gonna need you're gonna need about two dozens of um, Flowers of your choice. I'm using these white roses like they're like white, but they're not like white with love like yellow or something I pick up two bundles of these I wanted the white ones but the ones I wanted the white ones are like they were too um they were squished up very bad so I thought I went I decided to go with these so I need to need about two bundles all right guys so let's start with this project and of course you're gonna need your hot glue gun um so let's start with this project um I went ahead on on this one you're gonna need two of these glasses I went ahead and I already um Right, I already had started doing one, so what I just did, I just went around it and I put some uh, silver trim, the silver beads. I put that on there. I was gonna put um some, I was trying to put some um, um, oh my god, what's wrong with me today? I was gonna put some of this um, diamond wrap. I'm sorry, some of this diamond wrap, but because of the because of the shape of these glasses. I was everything was okay here but when I was getting like um like further down um it was not looking like what I wanted it um it was looking not I didn't like how it looked but if you do um try this at home or something and if you do want to put the diamond wrap you can go ahead and put the diamond wrap maybe that you'll like it but I didn't like it how it came out so um let's start, get started to this project it's a very easy project and everything um yeah so I know you're probably going to say, okay, babe, but I don't have these glasses at home. How am I going to create this project? Dollar Tree does sell some glasses like this. Not exactly like these glasses, but, you know, you can always use the candle holders from Dollar Tree. Uh, you can use another glass that Dollar Tree has or or um, you can use a candle holder or whatever. But I'm just using these because this is what I had in hand and I really like these. Uh, when I got these at the thrift store, they were taped up together like this. So that's what I got the idea. I'm going to show you. Let me put this up a little bit. Okay, so they were taped up like this. So when I saw them, I thought it was like a vase at first. But then when I brought, I took them apart, I, they told me they were martini glasses. And I said, okay, um, I, I don't use martini glasses. I, I mean, oops, sorry. Um, 
I'm not gonna use them like to to do a drink or something but I said I am gonna do it for a DIY so I thought they were very pretty and they're kind of heavy so I really that's what I really liked about it so let's get to the let's get into this DIY so I'll show you guys what I'm going to do let me put this on the side so what I'm gonna get here is I'm just gonna go ahead and get my trim on here and put my thing so I won't burn myself so I got some of my trim here and what I did is I just gonna put some glue around it here I'm gonna start all over around it if you guys can hear my um, noise, that's my fan in my room because it is kind of stuffy in here, guys. So sorry about that if you hear that. That's my fan. So what I did, I put the glue around it and I'm just going to go ahead and put my beads on here. And that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and put those beads on there. And then from there, guys, I'm just going to go around it and around it and around it. So... You see, I just that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put some more glue around it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue around the glass, like around here somewhere, and and I'm just going to go around the glass. Just I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with with the just keep turning it around, and halfway I will put more glue. You just have to work real fast because see what happens. Uh, the glue dries up really quick so I will put some glue here and wait that to dry probably gonna take it. yeah for this product for this one I used I used two of uh, one of those so so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just go keep going around the cup, the glass, I'm sorry. And just going to keep putting some glue um, going around it. Let me put some more glue on my, on my glue gun. Oh. Now if you don't want to use this trim, you can always use some Mosh Podge and put some glitter if that's what you want. I thought about that one too, but then I said, no, I, I saw these beads. I go, I really like how these, I, I go, I have these silver trim beads. And I said, let me try with this, how it looks. And I really liked how it looks. It goes with my decor, but like I said, you can um, always um, put some glitter on these, like some um, mosh podge and go ahead and, um, and, um, and put it like, if you want it like more shiny or you can spray paint any color you want. That's the good thing about it, you know. So that's what I'm just doing, guys. I'm just going around it, around the cup like this. And I just thought it was much easier than um, putting the, um, the, the diamond ring. Sorry, guys. It is very early in the morning. It's about 5 a.m. right now. Um, and, and that's why I guess I can't even talk now. It's like... I'm recording very early today because I'm my daughter's sleeping right now, so I'm trying to get this video out before she wakes up and get this out the way because I do have about four or five more videos that I want to um, record. I still have more. I need to film more videos. I'm sorry. Who says recording, right? I still have to film more videos. I'm sorry. I don't know what. I tell you it's too early in the morning so I'm just doing this I'm, I'm not putting glue like everywhere I'm just like some parts I'll put glue and some parts I'll just go ahead and go like that I just think it looks more neater like this than cutting like like here and there It's been two weeks I haven't loaded up a video and um, every time I, like, I start filming I come back and I film with the camera I feel like I was ner I feel like I'm nervous again like if I was like my first time filming and everything 
And I was like, oh my god, you know? I just feel like I get like really nervous. I shouldn't get nervous. And there you go. I just think that it gives it like a better clean. Um, I like how it looks much better here. So I need that little part. So I'm just going to cut some of this right here. Put some right here. And I'll just cut off the rest right now. Okay. the rest on here okay and there you go you see very easy it was easy peasy I really like how it looks like there you go I might need some here but let's see it should be fine there. okay so there you have your box uh, of your um your cups they're ready um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some e6000 on here you guys i always say when you're using um e6000 make sure you have window open a ventilator area because e6000 is a very strong glue but it has a very strong order as well. Every time I use E6000, guys, I try to keep a window open just while the E6000. So what I did, I put some E6000. I'm going to add um, glue this on top of it. Um, this is going to take about 24 hours to dry, guys. So if you're doing this, don't think that you're going to be able to um, move this right away. It takes about 24 hours exactly for it to dry completely. If not, this will fall apart on you. Let me bring this up a little bit more so you guys can see what's going on. So I'm going to put this right here for right now. Um, I wanted to put um, maybe some diamond wrap over it so where it closes up. So where it meets up right here, not close, where it meets right here, I wanted to put some diamond wrap. So I'm going to probably put that on there. I have this one too. You can hear some other stuff. I have other projects that I'm going to be doing in a bit. So I have this one too. What do you guys think? You guys decide. You guys tell me. You guys like this one or you guys like the diamond wrap? I think that one's cute. I don't know. Like, let me give it some, a little bit of shine to it. Yeah, I think the diamond wrap will look better. I like this on the back. So we're gonna take some we're gonna give it some a little bit of marsh. We're gonna give it some more shine. So I'm just gonna grab some little of this diamond wrap. I'm just gonna measure it here where it comes. Okay, here we go. I put that diamond wrap so where they meet both um they meet I put some diamond wrap so we're just gonna go ahead and move this um glue gun from here okay. so what I have here is my little foam ball I'm gonna move this out the way too I move this out the way this is for another project this stuff okay 
So I'm gonna bring this a little bit over here. Sorry. Bring my flowers. These are Dollar Tree flowers. So I'm gonna take this off. So what I'm just gonna do, um, I already had started putting my flowers, so I had to decide. So what I'm gonna start is I'm gonna put right in the middle one one of my flowers. I'm not gonna put no hot glue on this. Um, if you do want to put some hot glue, you can go ahead and do it. I'm not going to put hot glue because I can always change these flowers whenever I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my flowers. And what I did, I just cut them with some scissors. But if you want, let's just make sure um, I'm putting the first one in the middle. And I'm going to start um, in the middle and I'm just going to go on the sides. I think with two bundles should be fine. But if I need more, I would go and pick up some more, um, you know. Cause this little foam ball is kind of small and I bought these small small foam balls back in December at Hobby Lobby I bought there were six in the pack so so what I'm just doing is just going around it around the foam ball and just putting it in there I'm going to start putting the sides now. Um, if you decide to take the little leaves off, you can take them off. I just think, I just like how it looks. It gets it just a, I like how it looks. It just makes it look fuller and, I don't know, I just like how the, the little green leaves. Are. So that's all you're going to do is just, you know, put your flowers. It's very easy. Okay guys, so you have your little ball right here. Like I said, oops, make sure we have this all in. Okay, this one I'm going to glue it because I, the stem broke on this one, so I'm going to have to glue this one. Let me get my glue. Yeah. It's all on the floor. So I'm just going to put some glue, because I wasn't going to glue them up, but I have to put this one in glue because this one is not going to stick. Okay. Alright, so here is my little ball with my little flowers. Sorry, guys. Here's my little ball. So I'm just going to bring this up here to me and I'm just going to put it in here like this. I'm not going to glue it down. If you do want to glue it down, you are, um, you can go ahead and glue it down. Um, the reason I'm not going to glue mine down because like I said, I can always change the flowers I want um, and decide if I want to put something else on here instead of this ball. Um, I can change whatever I want. You can make a bigger one if you want. I didn't want mine that big, so I decided to do this one. I'm sorry, let's see this one. Okay, so that's what I did. I just went ahead and put my little ball on here, and that's it. Um, but I have something else that I just decided to do. I got these little mirrors at um, Hobby Lobby, so I'm just gonna see. Um, I might put some mirrors on here. What do you guys think? What? I don't think this is going to be too far. No, I think that should be fine. I was going to put some mirrors like towards here, but I decided not to. I think that looks very gorgeous. I think. I really like how this guy, um, this, this came out, guys. This can be done, um, I'm going to be putting this in my living room by one of my little tables I have by my, one of my lamps. But, um, 
I have a friend that she is going to be um, getting married and I'm helping her find some like centerpieces and everything like this so I'm gonna show her my idea I think this would be nice like if you're having a small way out you having a wedding or if you're having like um, a little cotillion uh, a cotillion or if you're having a little baby shower or, or whatever a birthday party I think this would be very nice I know you're probably gonna say um, that I don't have these kind of glasses but I know like I said you can use any kind of glasses Dollar Tree sells um, something not similar to this but they're like a little bit longer um, you can use those you can use a can holder you can use anything you want um, I just think this is very pretty um, you can combine this like this and you can put it like in the middle of the table with a little some little candles like some Dollar Tree house these little candle holders you can put these little candle holders and put some lighting in the in the middle of the table and you can use this as a centerpiece for your wedding for your birth for a, a party or for anything you want guys but I think it's very pretty I I'm I'm just in love with it I didn't I didn't expect to come out like this I really like it and everything guys so I hope you guys enjoy it too um, I will let um, I would let you guys see where I'm gonna send this and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did guys please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and I'm gonna roll the clip so you guys can see where I'm gonna send this alright guys I'll see you in a bit